Ladies and gentlemen, Professor Richard Dawkins. My passion is for scientific truth. I don't much care about what's good and evil, actually. I care about what's true. Um, I mean, do you actually believe in your Muslim faith? Do you believe that Muhammad split the moon in two? Do you believe that Muhammad flew to heaven on a winged horse, for example? I, I pay you the compliment of assuming that you, that you don't. No, I do. I believe in miracles. You believe that? Yes. You believe that Muhammad went to heaven on a winged horse? Yes, I believe in God. I believe in miracles. I believe in revelation. I mean, the point here is that let's assume I'm wrong, Richard. I'm yeah, wrong. Let's. Um... Let, let's assume I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm wrong. I'm happy to concede that, Richard. I'm happy to concede it. I'm wrong. Part of that. OK, let's take one last question. Uh, gentleman there in the blue jumper. And we're going to have to make this the last question. Professor Dawkins, as an atheist, is it not the case that you either believe in the universe just popping into existence without a cause, which is worse than hocus pocus, or uh, in this thing called the multiverse, which has as much independent empirical evidence as as Hades controlling the underworld. Right, the, 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 fra the phraseology you, you use is, is somewhat biased, somewhat, somewhat slanted. Um, the uh, popping into, the universe popping into existence out of nothing, the multiverse theory is used in this context to um, explain the fact that some physicists believe that the physical constants are too finely adjusted. It's as though it's a put-up job. It looks as though the physical constants are so finely adjusted that if you change any one of them, then the universe would collapse. The and I started Lops to say hypothesis. that. Yes. Now, um, the multiverse hypothesis is a kind of Darwinian way of solving that problem. It says there are billions and billions of universes, all of which have different settings of their fundamental constants. A tiny minority of those billions and billions of universes have their constants set in such a way as to give rise to a universe which lasts long enough to give rise to galaxies, stars, planets, chemistry, and hence the process of evolution. Such, but do um, you understand, it, it does make me chuckle that you mock me for believing in a prophet that flies into a heaven, but you believe in lots and lots of universes that you can't show me, prove to me, test to me in a lab, as a basis of getting out of believing in a god and a prophet.